Hi, Best Buds. It's Kathy with Kathy's Garden, and I'm so happy that you've joined me today. Yesterday, we made this adorable scrappy cover for our scrappy junk journal. We made it out of our lace pieces and our trims. Oh my goodness, I think it just turned out fantastic. Today's video is part two. And we're going to be adding some interesting pages into our little scrappy journal. We're going to be adding some pockets and things for some page ideas. But first, let's have our shout out to Nicole, Kelly, Shabby, Kat, Kay, Kayri, and Judy. I appreciate each and every one of you. So right here, I've got some gardening pages, book pages that I have already cut out of the book. And I just have a few here. Um, they look like this. I do have a coffee dyed line book page. And so I'm just showing you what our pages look like that we will be adding. And I thought we definitely need a little bit of music. So because our little journal is not very wide, it is, how wide is it? <laughs> Four inches wide from the spine to the edge of our paper. Now, if we fold it this way, we're going to have to trim just a little bit. But I really want my words to be right side up. I don't know. I just, um, I just would like that today. So let's fold. I want my, either way, the pink or the... Um, the sumac, the, the reddish color, and the yellow, the yellow, they're both going to show. So I'm just going to fold this in half, just like this. I'm going to bring in my smaller guillotine, and I'm going to trim the border off right here. And then let's see here. Let's make a template. I think about right there. I'm not even sure what that is. That is going to be four and a half. So I think I'll mark the other side as well at four and a half. I lost my, lost my mark here. There it is. Four and a half. And let's just get that trimmed up. Now I know we're going to have to trim off Oh, isn't that a pretty page? Oh my goodness, that's so beautiful. I think just trim it right here where the page stops and the border begins. We'll be fine. And while I've got it out, I am going to go ahead and I'm going to round the corners. So I'm going to round the corners as we go. What a beautiful book page that's going to be. Gorgeous. So now we have the other part to that page. And... Um, we're going to use it as well. I'm looking to see what does it look like inside. It's got that beautiful fall colored sumac. What happens if we fold it up like this? We fold it up about um, maybe an inch and a half. I'm just looking to see where my, if I'm lined up straight, there's about an inch and a half. Getting that folded. I'm going to fold it in half again like that. So that's going to be a pocket, a built-in pocket. Let's, it's going to be a little, nope, it's going to be the same size. So let's just pop that right in there and let's use our page that we just made as our template for this other one. And I'm going to trim it off like that. And I'm going to get my bone folder because it's kind of feels like it's kind of got a warping going on. I want to see if I can even that out. Yeah, that definitely evened out. And I'm going to take off the corner. I'm actually just going to round the bottom too, even though that's going to be a pocket. Oh, that's going to be beautiful. Oh, goodness, we've got that inside. All right, so I'm going to add my glue now. So I'm just going to add it right here on the edge. That's all we need to do to make this a pocket. Okay. 
Okay, there we are. Wonderful. Now that's a pocket. I'm going to pop that right in there like that. Let's get our book page. And I want my lines of my book page to be um, correct so we can use it to actually journal on and folding it the long way so that we can get those lines to journal on. So we're going to use our template to get our book page to be the right size. And I'm just going to pop it into my little guillotine. And give it a chop. And I think I better chop it again. And then I'm going to chop the side. Well, did I mark the side? Yeah. <laughs> I did. But I need to cut this too because it wasn't straight. How are we doing? That's really good. Let's go ahead and round the corners while we've got it out. Now this one. Let's do this one. So this is how we're going to go through all of our papers. We're going to be using the one we made to fit. And we're going to use it as a template. And we're just going to keep going. All right, so we've got that one. Now, what do we have here? Oh, we have this beautiful page. Let's put some pockets in this one. Um, let's fold it this way. And let's just look and see how... I am just so pleased with this page right here. Yeah, let's just, we've got enough room right here. Let's just fold this over. So I'm going to line my fold up on a grid mark. And then I'm just going to fold this over. What is that? About an inch. Why does this look like it's, no, about an inch. Just like that. And I'm going to turn it over. Here's our fold line. Uh, anyone can't see it, which is kind of hard to see. I'm having a hard time seeing it. There it is, right there. I'm going to lay it on the grid. And then I'm going to just roll this up and fold it. So we're going to have a side tuck pocket on this one. Now I'm going to pop it into here. And I'm going to get the length. So it's going to be a different size page, which is always very nice to have. Different sizes of pages. It just adds a lot of interest. Yep, that'll be perfect. And I don't think I'm going to round the edges. This one's even going to be shorter yet. That'll be fine. Because it's a side tuck, I'm not going to round the edges. And it's a shorter, smaller little page, so I think it'll be fine. Adding my glue now so that when we sew it together, it will already have, I'm looking for a little tiny piece of paper towel. It'll already have its pockets built in, which is super cool. Very nice. I like how that looks. Lovely. Now we need to do this one. So adding the glue and then folding it up and then adding the glue. Just like that. Very nice. All right. So how many pages do we have so far? We're going to need 10. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Here, we've got these pages. We've got, I think this uh, pepper, this red pepper will be perfect color um, because the colors are kind of um, on our cover. We put some pink in our cover. So let's go ahead and carry that theme out. 
with the pink and then we have the pink flowers. I think that'll look great. Do we want to put a pocket on this one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, no, let's don't. So I'm going to just mark it right here. I'm going to bring in my guillotine. Now this is going to be a smaller pocket on this side. I mean, not a pocket, page. Look how, how small this page is going to be. That's going to be fine too. Different size pages. It's a fold area right there. Alrighty. So now we've got these, this page right here. We're going to need some more pockets, you guys. So this is a nice big page. Let's see here. Do we want to fold it this way? Or do we want to fold it this way? I think I'm going to keep with the folding long way and keep the words going the correct direction. You can fold it any way that you wish. I'm just choosing to do that. I also think it's going to show a little bit more of these flowers. I'm going to bring in the larger guillotine, see if it's big enough for, to get this page in. It is. I'm going to trim it a little closer to my, uh, you know, the edge of the paper just to get some of this extra that nothing's happening. The border. Trim some of that border off. And then I'm going to bring in our template. I think we're going to put our more pockets on our music paper. I think it'll be perfect. Well, this is a little too wide. We're going to have to trim a little bit more of this off. Here, right here. So let's go ahead and do that. <coughs> do that sorry. Uh, you know, I think I figured out why I'm kind of coughing again. <laughs> it's my allergies. My allergies are kicking up. So kind of double dosed on my allergy meds to see if I can jump start it a little better. I am, I had one of those tests, scratchy tests done years ago. And what I am allergic to is very high count right now, pollen count. So that's why my eyes are kind of running and my voice is kind of catchy sometimes. It's the pollen. <laughs> so that's what's happening, guys. I'm not sick. I just have allergies. My allergies are catching up with me. All right. Here's our music page. This is right side up. And let's do this. And let's trim this jaggedy stuff off. I don't want that jaggedy stuff. So just going to trim it. Now, wait, we might need to really trim it. It's kind of looking like we do. Let's trim it all the way up. So I'm going to take that off and this. Okay. There we go. Ready? Whoops. Giving it a chop. I need to pay attention to where my lines are here on my little cutter too much. That might not be enough. I might need to cut a little bit more. All right, so I want to turn up the bottom. We're going to put a pocket and I'm move these pages out of the way. All our beautiful pages. Oh my goodness, they're so pretty. We have so many, they're falling. It's an avalanche. And I think about an inch and a half. And I'm going to fold it in half like it was. And let's get our little template here. And let's mark it. Like that. And then let's trim it. Still got my big one. I'll just use it. And then this would be a very small one if we fold it this way instead of that way. 
can have some music come up on our pocket. Maybe it might be too small. We'll give it a go. We'll see. <laughs> it's so small and having a hard time hanging on to it. I want it right there. And I want it right there. Okay. That seems kind of long, but I don't think it is. Let's make sure. Yeah, it's a tiny bit long. Tiny. I'll trim it before we glue our pocket in place. We better trim this one too. Came from the same paper. All right. We've got our pages, guys. We need to glue our pockets here. Mm, round your corner up here. I'm going to go ahead and round this pocket because it's a big one. I don't know if we're going to use this one or not. It's awfully small, but it might be fun to use. And I lost my little piece of paper towel on the floor when all the papers were falling, but that's okay. I grabbed another one. All right, let's, uh, let's go ahead and make this one. See what we can do with it, huh? Why not? Let's get it ready. Prep it to see about using it. I'm not sure if we will or not. But <coughs> Excuse me. We might. All right, let's compile all of our papers that we want to use. See if there's enough. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, woo, ten, eleven. We've got way too many. We can get rid of the little tiny one. We can get rid of this little tiny one. Now let's see where we're at. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. Here's our cover. What would we like when we first open it? You know I'm going to say this one. I think that one is adorable. Oh, wait a second. What did I just do with those pockets, those pieces? It's a little short. That is it. We could actually glue that right in there and make a um, pocket. Out of our music page that we decided we weren't going to use because we had enough. So this is the inside. That would be pretty cute. I need to round the corners since the other corners are rounded. I need to go ahead and carry that out. And then oh, I have a I dropped my glue. We can glue this shut right here. That's our pocket. So we're going to glue it shut. We actually could have two pockets if we wanted. If we could just, we could just glue this down uh, three sides and have another tuck spot right here. If we do that, I think I'll put a thumb notch. This is thicker than just regular paper, this music paper. So we might be able to do that without turning down the, you know, we don't really have enough room to turn that down. But it might be cute. Where's my hole punch? Circle punch. Here's my circle punch. One and a half inch circle punch. How about if we just um, notch that out like that? Now, because it's so very, you know, white. I, oh, wrong side. Nope, right side. Yeah, it's hard to see because of the music. It's right there. That's cute. That's going to be cute for the inside of our cover to have our pocket. So our little page that we made and it was rejected. <laughs> it will still be able to use it with a double pocket in the front. So adding our glue. This is the center. I don't know if y'all can see that very well on the screen. This is the center, just like that. 
and we're going to glue this directly on just like this. So three sides, one, two, three, and then we're just going to set it right here. There we go. Pop it on just like that. How cute is that to make a little pocket? So here, what I mean, here's a pocket here, and then here's a pocket right there. <laughs> Pretty cute. And then we're going to do the exact same thing to the back cover, the back inside cover. Oh, I'm excited. I didn't, I didn't know that was going to happen. But doggone it, it's super cute. Super duper cute. So we made a pocket out of our music page that's going to be used for our cover. Back to our pages. Perfect front page. And that other page, you could actually line this with um, coffee dyed paper or something like that that you could journal on. And you could use this as your tag. So you wouldn't even have to throw that away. You could use that as your tag. So back to our papers. We've got this one. Let's see, let's line them all out and see what we've got. There's one with a pocket, but that's the same. So let's do something a little different. I don't know why, but I'm kind of thinking of the music paper, even though we just used it. So let's don't do that since we just used it. How about a little pocket? Oh, that's cute in there. So we use the one that has the pocket. And then that's pretty together. Just like to look to see how they look with each other, how they play off of each other. That one's pretty. That plays with this. Let's pop that one in. Oh, we have a, we have some uh, line paper over here, Kathy. Pop that in. So that's one, two, three, four. This is fifth. I don't really want to end with it. So I'm going to pop it there and then there. Every five. Maybe this one that one. Music. Oh, upside down. Music. Book page. And this pretty paper. Open this up. Do we want it to be like that or do we want it to be like this for our center? I think that's pretty center right there. All right, now, looks like we need to do a little bit of trimming, doesn't it? So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Are those two pockets right there? Yep, two pockets right in a row. I don't think, well, Kind of in a row. Three pockets in a row. Well, we've got a lot of pockets going on here. It's all good. Okay. I think that's beautiful, but I think somehow we got it to be a little too big, and I'm not sure. Of course, we measured, and that's how it got too big, is because I can't measure. I mean, let's just face it. All right, that looks better. Just trimming it up. Now let's get it in here. That's going to be gorgeous. All right, the next thing I want to do, find the center. This little short one, no, do we even have a short one? We have a short one this way, but not the lengthwise. This one is, I thought it was. I'm going to try to make it to be more in the center. And 
I'm going to grab some paper clips. I'm going to use these tinier ones. They're going to hold it firmer. Okay. We're going to be sewing this into our signature. Okay. Pretty good. So I have a little uh, tool that I make to use to sew my signature signatures in so that they're going to be even spacing. So what you do is you get yourself a scrap piece of paper and you cut it about an inch wide and you cut it the length of your journal. Okay, so that's the length of my journal. You fold it in half the long way. You fold it in half one more time and one more time and you crease it really well. When you open it up, you take your pen or pencil and you mark where the intersections of the fold occur. It should be three. You take this little piece. First, you're going to need to get your journal paper clipped into or clip using some form of clipping, some clips. Okay. A little dicey with our lace, but I think. I can get it on there, maybe like that. Okay. We're going to pour some more paper clips. Alrighty. So we've got that in there. You take your tool, you place it in the spine of your journal, and you paper clip it. I'm going to use a smaller one, maybe. There we go. It's still okay even though it's bent. You're going to take a little bit of packing material. You're going to be taking your awl and you're going to hold your journal closed and place your awl up and down and poke all the way through your journal. You can see the little piece coming out right here all the way through. Now it might be a little firmer than normal because we glued an awful lot when we were gluing our lace pieces, sewing trims. If you hit a piece of glue, just get it through. <laughs> get it through. You're going to need your needle with your uh, book binding material. I like to use wax book binding material. You can find it on Amazon. Sometimes it comes in a kit. You say one, a measuring one, two, three, like that, and give it a nice cut. Go ahead and thread your needle. Then you're going to start in the center, the center hole, and you're going to grab hold of that tail before it goes all the way through. You're going to turn it and you're going to go in one of the other holes. Then you're going to go in the far hole, all the way down, just like this. You're going to make sure it's not caught on anything, and you're going to go back through the center hole, like this. And you want it to be on the opposite side of your other string. So you have two of your threads, you hung on to this one as the tail, and you want it to be opposite of the center thread. Now I'm not putting a dangle on this. You could if you want, wanted to. I'm not doing that at this time for this little journal. I'm just tying it firmly, but not so firm that you rip it. Okay. If you're using embroidery thread, you'll want to keep it open for a little while. Put a little dab of glue there. Not glue stick, something like a wet glue just so that it secures your knot. The embroidery thread tends to unknot itself in a signature, so you'll want to glue it. This, this thread has a little bit of wax to it, so it catches itself from doing that. Shall we look and see how this looks? Alrighty, there's our cover. And then we've got this. Oh my goodness, that turned out so pretty. And there's here, and then there's a little pocket right here, or a little 
tuck spot right there. And we have this page. And we have some writing area. We've got our little bell peppers. We've got another little pocket, a side pocket right here. Oh, here's another pocket. Right here is another pocket. And now we've got another pocket right here. We've got the center page. Ooh, I'm happy with the center page. And we have another pocket here. And we have a pocket here. Oh my goodness, it's so awesome because you've got your pockets all ready to fill. Oh, that's a pretty page, even with just the leaf. That's very pretty. So you're ready <clears throat> to now either make your own ephemera or go ahead if you have digitals or maybe you have pictures that you've made, grab your clusters, grab your extra little pieces of lace Grab a piece of sorry silk and give it a tie. And then we have made the cutest scrappy junk journal. Oh my goodness, you guys, if you've enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. I invite you to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you there, guys. Bye now.